decided that I was not going to let anything keep me down tonight and I'm going out for my friend's birthday um, she so nicely gifted me a very nice pair of earplugs for Valentine's Day so I could start hanging out a little bit more maybe but I just wanted you all to see what I used to look like every day and if I went to my neurology appointment tomorrow looking like this, what do you think they would say? <sighs> it's crazy, but happy to have put on a full face for the first time in a very long time. I did have so much fun last night. Now I have to go to my neurologist appointment and I'm just not in the mood to talk about my fucking head that hurts. Ooh, pardon my French. I wish, nope, we're not saying that word anymore. Taking deep breaths until I get back, I guess. Maybe they'll have something useful to say. Well, no groundbreaking news at the neurologist, but they are going to put me on another antidepressant to see if we can do something about that. My second Botox is in April, so I guess March I'm just hanging in there. Um... I went in with no expectations, but I clearly had expectations because my, my feelings are hurt. I just don't know. I just don't know what to do. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a neurologist. I'm, I'm not a psychologist. Like, There's so much gray area and I just hate it all because I'm navigating it pretty much blindfolded. <sighs> Mondays. I'm so sick of it right now and I just want to scream and shout and break everything and repeat over and over again. I have a headache until somebody fixes it because... <sighs> It's 7 p.m. and I'm going to bed because that's how bad my ass hurts. I just can't believe it sometimes that I'm back here again trying to fight this stupid invisible illness that nobody knows anything about. Ugh. Over it. So effing over it. So, something good that happened today. It's still Tuesday. So, I got a new iPhone. So, I got the iPhone 11 and I'm pumped. Um, I don't think I've ever owned a phone this nice before. So, hoping the quality is gonna get better. Yay. A tiny happy Liz for a second. Hello, it is Wednesday. I have a cute Reuben on my lap. Um, I love my new phone. I was supposed to go to therapy today, but my sister's um, 
dog woke up, woke up with her face swollen, so I canceled my appointment so I could go to the vet with her. Just an abscessed tooth, but she's a little lady, so it was kind of worrisome. Um, started my new antidepressant today, so we'll see. And I'll cross our fingers and hope that it helps. Um, we've been seeing some sunshine in Michigan, which is rare. Um, so yeah, I have a sty on my eye, which is very annoying. But today was not a total loss, even though I didn't get to go to therapy, which I think is a little bit of progress. I just got back from yoga, hence my hair. Um, it was good. I haven't been in a second this week, so um, it was really nice to have a good class. Feeling um, pretty good, but it is still early. Um, I don't really think I have any plans today, so... The last few days I've been taking a lot of naps because my head has been extra. But um, <clears throat> I just hope today's better. Happy Thursday. I don't think I said that. did so many things in one day. It's probably because I'm taking my anxiety medicine as prescribed um, because I'm terrified of getting addicted to it. So I don't always take it, but I went to yoga. I took my meds, which is a good thing to remember. I did my laundry. It has not been put away though, but that's okay. And I took a bath and actually washed and blow dried my hair. Oh, and I made a meal for myself, which you just saw. But um, days like this don't come around much. And my head is still at like a nine, but I guess I'm thankful that I've had a productive, meaningful day because those are very important and seem to be lacking in my life. And I get to go to therapy tomorrow for the first time since last Friday. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Happy Friday. Um, I'm doing okay, I guess got some allergies going on and my head is killing me but that's normal um my dogs woke me up at 7 45 this morning so i don't have therapy until 11 30 and generally i get a lot of anxiety in the morning when i wake up and tell my appointment because usually my sister's sleeping so i'm alone because me and my dogs are early risers, but trying to watch some YouTube and fold my laundry from yesterday and take deep breaths. My body is sore from yoga yesterday. It was quite the class. The prime pose was headstand, so we worked on our glute or our hamstrings a lot and <clears throat> I sleep downstairs so my legs are like jello yeah so happy Friday when I sign in at therapy um, it does this cute little thing and I just wanted to share with you guys it makes me always feel better about being there even if I don't want to be there just got back from therapy <laughs> Hi guys! 
This is the chaos that I live with. Anyway, I, I just got back from therapy and it, <laughs> this is stupid. I just got back from therapy and it was a really good session. And first I have eliminated the word wish from my vocabulary and now we are trying to turn the word but, cause I say it all the time, into an and. So if you guys notice me say like, I had a good day today, but my headache still hurts. I should be saying I had a good day today and my headache still hurt. I'm sorry you got none of that, but keeping it in because it's sunny in Michigan and dogs are cute even though they're annoying. I also forgot to say that um, the last time I went to therapy was a week ago, so I made it a week without therapy, which we, my therapist and I both agreed that six months ago that would be 100% impossible, so took a little step forward together. Yay. Sometimes you're having a good day and then out of nowhere, the depression strikes. And that's kind of what's happening with my Friday. So I think I might wrap it up here. Um, thanks for watching. Let's hope that next week is just another vlog and not a depression vlog. Bye, Rue. Say bye.